a Metro Detroiter who wanted to see the world and did as a journalist in the Middle East. Journalism became her vehicle to get the truth out. Now her work is preserved, honoring her life and dedication to her craft. Serena Shim was an international journalist. Her life cut short by a fiery crash in 2014. Defender Kevin D shows us how her work is being memorialized in Dearborn. She grew up in Livonia, but her career took her to the Middle East where she covered the war on terror. Officials say she died in an accident, but her family still has questions. To her family, Serena Shim was a sister, a daughter, and a mother to two children. To the world, she was a journalist. Her sisters and mother never want anyone to forget. She's fearless, so I, I, I think it's a, an amazing opportunity that people can know what her journey was. Serena's work as a foreign correspondent took her to Syria, Lebanon, and Turkey. She lived the war with the people. She lived in Turkey for a year. She knew the people. She, she knew the plight of the people. She was on the front line. She crawled under fences. She sat with ISIS. Her family says her reporting the truth about terrorists earned her many dangerous enemies. And everything that she has said over the years, everything she has reported going back even five years, how did she know? How did you follow ISIS before there was no ISIS? I mean, she literally sat in, in the, the tents that were supposed to be refugee camps. She, was with the high-ranking members. She died in a fiery crash in Turkey in 2014. Officials call it an accident. Her family wants a more thorough investigation. This display in Dearborn, now a place they can go and celebrate her life. It's almost like I can visit her grave, but in real life that she's taken her place in history and she's from here. What a better place to be. I think being able to see what um, somebody is able to do today and the kind of investigative reporting and work that she is able to do is a great inspiration. They donated Serena's passport, TV credentials, and the iPad she did so much of her reporting from to the Arab American National Museum. They say that's what Serena would have wanted. It's very bittersweet. Um, I mean, it, as much as it is an honor, it, it hurts and, you know, I miss her more than anything, so for me it's kind of hard to see, but it is an honor for my family. We think that her, by living here in Metro Detroit, then working overseas as a foreign correspondent, her heritage really informed her work, I believe, and her decision to do that kind of work. Uh, so we really wanted to tell that story. It's a, a major part of people who are want to stay connected to that part of the world. Serena's family say they always knew she would make history. Now they work with journalists and social media to keep her story alive. People are going to know what she did, and the people who don't know about her can educate themselves about her. But what makes me more happy is the fact that her kids lost a parent. And a lot of people lose a parent, but they don't have the opportunity to go to a museum and see what their mother did, or to even Google their mom and know that she was this great, powerful woman. So it makes me really happy for our kids, too. The Arab American National Museum says people are finding Serena's display very interesting. They say it's important to show artifacts from today to help tell the full Arab American story. Kevin Dietz, Local 4. So nice that her accomplishments can be celebrated, but at the same time, you understand her family's frustration, yeah. not feeling like they know the truth surrounding and her And you death. can understand such a dangerous situation oh. journalists are in there. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah.